Hey, it's Society Roller Girl fans. Welcome to the final home preview of the season. I'm Tank. With me, as always, Caesar. What's up, Tank? What's up, fans? Not much. Great game to finish up the season coming up this Saturday night, live from Cincinnati Gardens. Detroit Derby Girls coming down from Detroit, Michigan to take on the Cincinnati Roller Girls. Both A team and B team are going to be in the house for both teams. And we want to remind you that it's going to be fan appreciation night in the gardens this Saturday. So there's going to be lots of giveaways and prizes, door prizes and whatnot. So be sure to get there early and check out um, all the things that the Cincinnati Roller Girls want to thank you for being our fans all season. Well, let's dive into the matchups tonight. First off, the B team matchup. Silent Lambs going to be taking on Motor City Disassembly Line. What can we say about these two teams going into this season? So far, the Lambs, they have people coming on the team, off the team. As always, it's a B team. Things are going to shift and slide as the season goes. But I think some people have really established themselves on that team this year. Most notably, Hot Slice is somebody I'm looking at right now is doing good things on that team. Yeah, definitely Hot Slice coming on as a jammer. Um, uh, the offense has been very impressive for the Silent Lambs all season, I think. And, and certainly the defense always is impressive, led by veteran skaters. Um, We've always said it, we'll repeat it, the, the B team of the Cincinnati uh, Roller Girls is as good or better than a lot of A teams out there in the country. Um, the Motor City disassembly line from Detroit, not the team that we know uh, a lot of details about, but they're definitely very solid. Detroit has a great training program. They have a lot of uh, experience with speed skaters coming into that league um, from the Michigan area, and it's sure to be a really great matchup. I think probably one of the better uh, matchups that the Silent Lambs have had all season. Uh, you know, they're probably not as outmatched as they were in the last game versus Chicago, and I think it's going to be a really, really good matchup. Yeah, from what we can glean from looking at stuff online, and what finding stuff on B teams is generally pretty hard. Um, it looks like Detroit's got a lot of shift this year. They had people who were on their A team last year now on their B team. People who were on their B team last year now on their A team. So they're going to bring a lot of experienced veterans down onto that roster. Cincinnati does as well, though. Killing Destroy now playing for the Lambs on a regular basis. You also have uh, Barracuda on there for this game. You know, I think Kuda is definitely somebody that can be a triple threat. They can plug her in wherever they need her. And more likely they'll have her in the packs since you're going to have Misprint and Hot Devil uh, as well as Slice in there for the line. So this should be a pretty good matchup both in the pack and on the jammer line that night in the B-team game. Moving on to the main event of the evening, the Black Sheep taking on Detroit Beer Girl All-Stars. What do you think? Well, Detroit's coming in here with the number three uh, ranking in the North Central region. I think that potentially they're even better than that. Um, they're a really good team. They've improved a lot. They started their season with a lot of losses, but they all came against very highly ranked teams. Uh, the best teams in the nation beat them, so nothing wrong with that. And uh, since then, they've taken on more uh, North Central opponents and beaten them all solidly. Detroit is a very good team, one to watch. Um, they're led by Racer McChaser, who won the 2007 East Regional MVP in Columbus, um, and she's only gotten better ever since. And uh, as we mentioned a minute ago, Detroit just a pipeline into speed skaters. So offensively, jamming, uh, they've got some really fast skaters. Yeah, at Boo Delivers, Sister Slitcha, all those people have done so well over the years in Detroit. Um, Cookie Crump, uh, Rumble, you know, has been a mainstay on there forever. So you have all these people that are really good, really talented uh, that play at a high level. I think that uh, Detroit right now, when I mean, you saw them last year at regionals, you know, Minnesota defeated them and it was an upset at the time. I think that um, what happened was it made Detroit double down and just put a lot of work and effort into this season. And uh, right now, I mean, I think they can beat anybody in the North Central. I think they're a team that, you know, definitely has a chance of beating Minnesota, definitely has a chance to be in the first team to ever beat uh, Windy City from North Central. They're playing that well right now. Cincinnati, it's been a tough season for them, both at home and on the road, but at the same time, Cincinnati's playing one of the toughest, if not the toughest schedule right now in Roller Derby. Um, in comparison, especially to last year, where they were on the come up and they had a lot of wins, but now they're taking on the creme de la creme of teams out there. Yeah, yeah, I mean, Cincinnati, a uh, tough four game losing streak right now for the Black Sheep, but nothing to be embarrassed by. Uh, they've got, uh, yeah, I think the hardest schedule in the nation uh, so far. Detroit's going to be a tough game for them. To be, let's be honest, the Black Sheep are going to have to play flawless roller derby, and they're going to need the support of the fans in the gardens at night, being loud, um, you know, don't get quiet when things go rough. Get even louder because the, the Black Sheep thrive on the support of the fans, and, and they appreciate it so much. His fan appreciation night. Exactly. Yeah. So, 
it's going to be a good game. Uh, in the end, you know, it, this one's going to come down to who's playing on that night. I definitely think that when it comes to this game, the edge is to Detroit. But what Cincinnati does have going in its favor is they're playing at home. It's the last game of the season at home. And maybe they can get something going there and take the experiences from the games they played so far this season and turn it into a W. And Tank, not only that, it's got Cincinnati Black Sheep and the Silent Lambs have a, a bit of an emotional factor yeah. uh, on Saturday in the Gardens because it's going to be the last game of a number of very important and charismatic players. Uh, Miss Print, a uh, fan favorite for the Silent Lambs, going to be playing in her last home game. She's not going anywhere. She's still going to be around running the league and writing about it, but um, she's uh, retiring as a skater. And then, of course, for the uh, Black Sheep, a couple of important players are, are playing their last game as Black Sheep. Yeah, there, there's definitely a lot of a lot of fan favorites going out this year. Like you said, Print, uh, Hop Devil, getting ready to make the move. She's she's moving out of the city of Cincinnati. Um, so Hops, who was a promising jammer, who did spend some time on the Black Sheep this season, will be leaving us after this game. And then the two big departures uh, for the Black Sheep are going to be uh, Trauma and fan favorite since day one, Skate Punk. So those are two major players getting removed from the the Black Sheep system. Yep, and uh, you know both of them moving on, just basically real life is uh, taking them out of the city of Cincinnati. They're still going to be playing roller derby, but just not for the Black Sheep. And uh, we wish them the best, and, and we really hope that they have a, they all have a great night uh, in the gardens here on the 18th. Um, well, and hey, there's other people leaving. Uh, this is your last game, calling games for Cincinnati Roller Girls. Yeah, yeah, I'm likely going to be leaving the state of Ohio myself, and so this will be my last home game and my last call with you, buddy. Uh, but not last call forever. So I feel like a widow right now. Yeah. <laughs> uh. So basically, what we're saying is, people, you need to be at this game. If you're within 90 miles of the Cincinnati Gardens, get there. Tickets pre-sale for ten dollars, fifteen for trackside. You get there day of, you're gonna pay a little bit more for at the door cost. Go ahead and get those tickets now. Come on out, see this game, Cincinnati, Detroit. It's gonna be a great matchup. Price that you're gonna see again at regionals this year, where it's gonna be even more important. But this is the time you want to come out and see this game. If you can't join us live because you live in some other part of the world, check us out online. www.ustream.tv keyword Cincinnati Roller Girls. You can find us on our Facebook page, facebook.com backslash Cincinnati Roller Girls, or via Twitter, Cincy Roller Girl. And we'll have the links up for that. So no matter where you're at on the planet, you can see this game. It's going to be great. I think that's all we got, and uh, we'll see you in the gardens or on the internet this Saturday, June 18th. Game uh, Doors open at 6. First game will kick off at 7 p.m. CincinnatiRollerGirls.com for more information. Be there.